every account in the media, Hal, is that this was very cordial and it was not confrontational. But uh, the question I have, yeah. what if Alex said, you know, I, I don't want to do this. Would you guys have released him? Well, let me, let, me, let me tell you about the rest of the conversation. So it was at that point where I really floated this idea, you know, of, of how great a mentor he's been through the years and, and how much he can bring to the organization in that capacity. And I brought it up as an option. And, you know, I told him, take three, four, five days, think about this as an option, talk to the people you trust, you know, put a lot of thought into it. And he did. And, and in fact, the next day we, we met again face to face and he made his decision that he thinks, you know, he wants to continue, first of all, contributing to the Yankees. He thinks this is one way he can do it. We talked a lot about Tampa in the conversation. I mean, we've got two of our top five or six overall prospects here, both shortstops, by the way, both young kids. Uh, I can't think of a better guy than Alex to, to come in here and really spend time with them. And, and, you know, we talked about Tampa exciting me the most, but we got prospects in all these clubs. So we didn't, it didn't go past that. It, it was not an ultimatum. Um, it was an option. And I gave him some time to think about it, and he did. And he thought it was best for him. And, and Michael, there was just wasn't any more conversation about what was going to happen, you know, if or if not. And if we're going to talk about hypotheticals, I guess I would say if he had come back and said, I really don't think this is for me, then I'd have to sit down with Joe and Cash and, you know, discuss all options, including, including keeping him on the roster and playing him when Joe thought he could contribute.